Hey everyone, it's Daniel. In this video, I'd like to show you an additional tool that you can use in order to really come up with new and interesting keyword phrases for your eBay listing titles. Uh, so you can eventually rank higher and get more sales. And by the way, this is actually video number four for the uh, keyword research methods that I'm showing. In case you haven't watched any of my previous videos for this topic, I would highly suggest you to do so. And by the way, in case you haven't watched any of my YouTube uh, videos before, I would highly suggest you to also go into and check out my other eBay tricks and tips. Um, trying my best to upload them on a weekly basis. So be sure to subscribe in order to get a notification for my next videos. So let's begin with uh, Amazon. In case you haven't really drop shipped from Amazon or you are not working with Amazon, it isn't very important for us. Um, my technique involves the Amazon platform, but you don't have to work with Amazon in order to use the tool I'm about to show you. So. First of all, uh, the tool that I'm using and will talk about is called Sonar. If you write Sonar on Google, you'll find that uh, there, okay, this is actually uh, some uh, unrelevant stuff. Uh, this is a tool that we are going to use. So you can actually write Sonar tool and it will show you, it will be, I hope, the first one, and yes, it is. So Sonar, uh, first free Amazon keyword and product research tool. This is the tool that I'm about to show you, and don't uh, worry about it just yet. It's not just for Amazon sellers. Yes, it does serve uh, people on Amazon that sell their items on the Amazon platform, but it can also highly, uh, um, highly help our course uh, to actually rank higher on eBay. So if I go to Amazon and search for something like, I don't know, um, kitchen slicer, okay, kitchen slicer, I'm going to something like that. On Amazon, when you try to rank your product or uh, actually brand your own item and then bring it to Amazon, what people usually do is pay huge amounts of money for professionals to actually build their titles and their listings in addition to of course a lot of other stuff like um, um, like photo, shoot photo shooting the uh, item and all those brand related things that they must do. Uh, we uh, be because of their uh, um, very uh, professional looking uh, um, listings and because they do really nice job into creating their uh, items and creating the listings, we will actually use their listing in order to come up with new ideas or for keyword research, uh, for keyword phrases. So what I'm actually doing is taking the asset for this item. Let's say that we are about to list a similar item or maybe even this exact same item on eBay, okay? It doesn't have to be this item, it can be any uh, item that is similar, any uh, slicer, kitchen slicer for vegetables and things like that. What we want to do is to find something that is similar to us and that we think is doing a good job on Amazon. So I copy the ASCII number for this item. Let's say that we want to list something that is similar to that. I'm going to Sonar, which is a free tool. It is absolutely free. I wouldn't recommend something that we need to pay for. We have so much, so many different tools that are absolutely free. And again, I'm repeating, I have three other videos that I already made in this YouTube channel for amazing, unique tools that you can use instantly. So I'm doing, I'm going to paste the ASCII number in here and click on the pink button. And what Sonar will do is to actually scan this listing on Amazon and to come up with frequent used keywords. 
keywords that are being used on the Amazon sales page. Okay, so you can know that if mandolin slicer or French fry cutter or mandolin vegetable slicer, mandolin slicer, potato slicer, and all those keyword phrases are being used on a very frequent basis, then this has something to do with the item and it is something that the seller uh, put on site this listing for a reason in order to really get organic um, organic traffic from the Amazon platform so what I did here is to actually again copy the uh, the asin launch it here launch it here i uh, clicking on the pink button and i get a lot of different ideas a lot of different phrases that i can use for my ebay title so if i'm going to take this item this grammar c kitchen c adjustable stainless steel mandolin food slicer then I can just take the ascent, ping it here, and get all these different ideas. Something like OXO Mandolin Slicer, OXO is a brand. It doesn't have something to do with that, I think, because it isn't their item. Uh, so this is irrelevant for us. But things like Mandolin Slicer, uh, French Onion Soup Crocs, uh, Japanese mandolin slicer, vegetable slicer, potato slicer, fruit slicer, I can get all these different ideas that I've never even thought about. And let's say that this list isn't enough. By the way, it will actually go much, much larger if you'll pay for the software. However, I wouldn't recommend that. We have so much data for free. Uh, I personally never upgraded this subscription, I just used the basic and the free one. But let's say that this list isn't enough and we want different ideas, we want something more. What we can do is to actually click on the next relevant uh, keyword phrase from this search. So let's say that uh, mandolin or uh, onion slicer is something that is very very relevant to us and we want to list. We want to use it in our eBay listing. So we want to also get uh, relevant ideas and uh, things that are relevant and similar to onion slicer so we can simply click it. Click it. If I click it, it will instead of the uh, uh, using the RC number, it will just use some keyword and I can also search by keywords. Uh, and now it actually gives me an entire list uh, for things that are relevant and that are similar to onion slicer, like green onion slicer, onion slicer and dicer, uh, commercial onion slicer, uh, onion slicer thin, tomato onion slicer, electric onion slicer, and I get so much, so many more keyword phrases that can uh, expand my mind and to get me unique ideas or keyword phrases that I've never even thought about. And let's say that I don't have an SE number, I can from the beginning already start with a keyword phrase. Like say, let's say that I'm interested in, in a potato slicer, okay? Potato slicer. So I can from the start, and by the way, it either completes me, say if I'm uh, interested in getting uh, ideas for potato slices spiral, I could just click on that and it will generate some ideas and it didn't find a lot because it's something that is very specific, but if I just ran a search for potato slicer, I'll find many more. So potato chip slicer thin, potato fries slicer, um, Hasselbeck, uh, potato slicer, uh, potato chip maker slicer. I get so many different ideas and by the way it also provides me with um, relevant items on Amazon so I can actually also find from that uh, I interesting items and I can click on all of them and just when I click it will run the ASI number in sonar and it will again generate some interesting new ideas okay so now i have pasta maker cheese uh kitchen gadgets quick chop salad bowl i have all all of these things and by the way it also filters by the search volume so you can see five lines five green ones are the most search for phrases and we get until about two or one, but these are hidden 
Um, so the, this will not show to you in the free version, but again, this uh, tool can provide you with many, many ideas. It is one out of many tools that I use and I really wanted to make uh, this video and as well as any of the other videos that I made in order for you to really expand your reach and to get as many tools as you can because when you have uh, more tools in your arsenal, uh, you will be able to create things that are more unique and using that also outrank your competitors in eBay. So guys, this tool is called Sonar Tool. Uh, you can search for it on Google. I'll try my best to put a link below this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one. Hey guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure that I'll continue to upload new and interesting videos on how to optimize your online sales. If you haven't already, please comment down below and let me know what you think. I do my best to reply any question or feedback within 24 hours, so don't waste that, guys. Also, in case you love the videos and you appreciate the content that I upload, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you also get a notification for my next uploads on this channel. I'll also, of course, really appreciate your support. Before I finish, I'll leave you with one sentence that I think fits perfectly in this situation. Guys, remember always, knowledge without application is just knowledge. I can talk on and on about how to optimize your online sales, but unless you take what I teach and really implement that into your business, nothing will truly change. Guys, I wish you the best day ever, and I really do hope to see you on one of my next uploads. Bye-bye.